What is up fam? Welcome back to my channel today. I am so close. A few more weeks away from welcoming baby number dos. So if you see me laying down halfway through this video and finishing it like this, that's why. I definitely feel the weight and the pressure of this baby girl. I gotta start thinking about what's gonna be in my hospital bag. The first time around when I was packing my hospital bag, I remember packing literally anything and everything that I could possibly think of. And then when it came down to it, how many of those things did I actually end up using? Yeah. So I'm gonna share some of the things that I find essential that you'll really use. And I hope that this video inspires you. Before we get started, I hope that you'll take the time to subscribe to my channel, show your girl some love, and uh, yeah, you ready? Let's do this. So first things first, for me, if I'm leaving my home, going anywhere, I definitely always immediately think first to my skincare bag. I don't know why I freak out if I don't have my skincare products with me. I have actually been keeping my skincare routine pretty simple. It's really great if you can find products that work for both day and night so that you don't have to have a million different skincare and beauty products. So I'm actually going to be taking my True Botanical skincare products. If you've seen on my stories, I have talked about this brand before. It is a pregnancy safe line, but it is super clean. So even if you're not pregnant, you can still use it. Before getting ready, I decided to film kind of like my quick skincare routine, what I plan on doing when I go to the hospital. So I will just let that cut over to that and show y'all real quick. I love that all of the products that I'm about to show you are biocompatible, which means that not only are they safe for the environment, but it's actually safe for your skin's barrier. It's not gonna destroy it or damage it. And if anything, it's going to renew it while continuing to provide those benefits that your skin needs, whether it's anti-aging benefits, whether it's the moisturizing and hydrating benefits of your skin, and also plumping and brightening, I'm gonna be using their Calm Pure Radiance Oil. A lot of the times with oils, they can be super heavy on my skin. This one immediately is so lightweight. It is because of all of the seed oils and flower oils in this product. So that's what it's formulated with. So it's light, it's natural, but it's actually keeping the moisture in your skin locked in. It's really awesome right before you use your moisturizer because it isn't gonna make anything else in your routine look super caked on or greasy, especially if you're gonna put this on before you put makeup on, which is the case for me today. It's a very light but radiant glow, and that's what I always look for in an oil. Something else that I have been using from their line is the Vitamin C Booster. I want you to see. <laughs> It's almost done. I have just been so obsessed with this. If you don't use vitamin C, I highly suggest it. Typically, if you don't use your vitamin C within like six weeks, if it's a liquid form, it just tends to lose its potency and its effectiveness. And you're just like, why even bother? Nobody wants to feel that kind of pressure when you have a product in your routine where every time you look at it, it's like a ticking time bomb. It's about to expire. So what I have loved about the vitamin C booster from True Botanicals is that it is actually, look, it's in powder form. You basically add like two drops of this into your serum or your moisturizer and it actually stays fresh up until the last drop. It's this white color. It should be super white. It's kind of fun, like mixing it into all of your different products that you have and just seeing how it can bring that product even more to life for you in your routine. I'm actually gonna add it into the Moisture Lock Overnight Mask. It just looks like I got a facial. My skin feels so fresh and so clean. They do have a variety of other products, like different types of oils and things, depending on what you need. For me right now, the Calm Pure Radiance Oil from the Sensitive line is perfect because it is pregnancy safe, as well as the Vitamin C Booster and the Moisture Lock Overnight Mask. All of these come in a bundle together. Definitely going into my hospital bag and I'm going to 
probably keep using them even when baby comes because they're just that great. Okay, so once my skincare is like set and in my hospital bag, I already feel so like good. Like, okay, rest assured. I'm also gonna be adding in like, you know, a lip balm, obviously my deodorant. I feel like that kind of all bundles up in with my skincare bag. Also a razor because my armpit hair grows overnight. And then I also love my mustache razors. I get them at Sally Beauty Supply. They come in a pack of three. When this is all said and done, I'm getting laser. I need to commit to it, ladies. It's time. Keep me accountable, okay? I remember the first time around, I just felt like having a headband would have been really nice. So I'm definitely taking a little cute headband and also some scrunchies from the Cezanne Wild Primrose collection. You guys love how I'm just like plugging my line in, obviously bringing a hairbrush, hair ties. I'm definitely gonna be putting in just like travel size shampoo, conditioner, body wash. This travel size in common magic mist is going with me. It's like a multi-purpose product. So it's going to heat protect, it's gonna keep the shine, it's gonna minimize the frizz, as well as strengthen the hair. So I just like having just an all-in-one product that I can take with me so that I'm not taking my whole hair cabinet. Another thing to bring is your own towel. It's just great when you get to take a shower and know that you have your own stuff. It just felt like a part of home was with me there at the hospital, so definitely bring your own towel. In the wardrobe department, I am definitely taking a nursing bra with me, a wire-free one. They usually have like an adjustable strap that makes it easy to breastfeed and then clip it back on. Your boobies are like so sore, so you definitely want something comfortable and also maybe just like a nice like loose sports bra. Another thing that is important to take, I've learned is comfy loungewear slash PJs, a button down dress or something. And something else I just love to bring is always a comfy robe. Target has a bunch of really cute ones right now. Bring like a little extra pair of pants to keep you warm. And then obviously like cozy socks and slippers. The hospital gives you some, but they're just not cozy. Another thing that you wanna bring is some granny panties. Don't borrow them from your granny. That would be weird, but you know what I mean. Like easy, comfortable panties, leave the thongs at home, girls. Also, bring ones that maybe you don't mind throwing away because after you have the baby, you can't expect to like, you know, experience a little bit of a period and all of that that comes with it. And then also something else is a going home outfit. I'll probably just bring something really loose the first time I literally brought like black leggings and like an oversized black sweater as like my going home outfit. And I was like, what the heck are you thinking? Like it was so uncomfortable and tight on my you know what and like other areas. So I'm not trying to bring any leggings this time. Instead, maybe like some loose loungewear bottoms with like a t-shirt. As moms, we wanna like look cute. But to be honest with you, you're not gonna wanna take very many pictures in the hospital room. You'd rather just wait and go home and take pictures. So another thing that I will probably be bringing with me is my own breast pump. I did use the hospital grade breast pump when I had teeny. I didn't feel like it was working as well as I would have hoped. So I actually got the LV pump, which I'm excited that I'll be using. We'll see how it all goes. I know that second time pregnancy, it's different than the first. I did breastfeed teeny up until about six months. Um, and so this time around, I guess it's just a personal goal for me. I wanna be able to do that. So going into the baby stuff, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I love it when I talk about her because it makes it more real, but yes, she definitely is going to come home in a cozy outfit as well. I'm not planning on putting her in no Kingston era dress or a Curtis dress. Keep it simple. You know, the hospital provides a beanie when the baby's born, but if you wanna take a cute pic, it's like you might wanna bring your own beanie. Probably just a cozy onesie, something that I can just like zip up or button up. Another thing that I'm gonna bring is soft newborn mittens. Quickly when they get out of that womb, man, they start really like feeling all up on their face and scratching. Hopefully I don't forget that, but if I do, I know I'll probably bring socks. And if I do, that's a good little hack is just put some socks on their little mitts, their little hands, and that should do the trick until you get home. I'll also bring like a little swaddle or an extra blanket. I'm not gonna go overboard like I did with bringing all the baby extra diapers and wipes and creams because they actually have all of that there. Oh, some other things that I'm gonna bring um, are my phone charger, and I'm also gonna bring a snack. The hospital food, it's not the worst, but it's also not the best. And with COVID this year, I don't know what they're gonna provide in terms of like that kind of stuff. So 
Y'all let a sister know if any of you have been delivering this year. Any of my 2020 mamas out there, let me know if you guys have, what your experience has been like with like the hospital food and that process like. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is one thing I can't forget, is my mask. Don't forget the hand sanitizer as well. Most of our husbands, our, our significant others, they ain't gonna remember to pack their own bags. So maybe pack them a little backpack or a little side bag for them that they don't know about until the day of. A pillow and a blanket. I cannot believe that hospitals have not figured out a way to make the sleeping situation more comfortable for the dad who's there spending the night and who's with mama through pregnancy and through labor. This time I'm like, you should just at least bring your own pillow and blanket, a snack. So it's important that yes, even though when we get checked in in the hospital, they can't fe really feed us, but that doesn't mean that daddy shouldn't eat or your helper shouldn't eat. So just to have a snack handy so that they can snack and munch. Um, is, is really important for them. Also an extra set of clothes, again, just some loungewear uh, or pajamas, obviously toothbrush, deodorant, their cash and their wallet in case they need to run in and out and, and get anything. A deck of cards is always nice too, or a little game. Bringing a game to help kill the time could be really sweet. And then obviously a camera if you wanna take pictures, whether that's a little disposable camera if you wanna go all 90s with it, or maybe it is just um, you know like a little Canon camera that you have because you wanna take professional photos. Just make sure you have your charger, that daddy has his charger, because you're gonna be probably updating a lot of people in a lot of group chats. So bring the charger. Last but not least, guys, make sure that you have your car seat ready to go and strapped in the car because they will not let you take your baby home unless you have your car seat ready and installed. That's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna be taking with me this time around. I know it might seem like a lot when I've really listed it out this way, but honestly, when it all comes down to it, it's not. I'm so sad that Teeny is not gonna be able to be in the hospital room with us. She is going to be surrounded, literally surrounded by Steve's family and my my family she will be in great hands for hopefully the couple of days that Stevie and I will be at the hospital all right guys that is it man this is just becoming even more real I cannot believe that baby number two our sweet precious baby girl is on her way like super fast and honestly the sooner you get your hospital bag ready the better just for peace of mind and it's just one less thing that you have to do as you just continue to get more uncomfortable and just ready to go. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and please comment and let me know in these final few weeks what videos you guys want me to deliver here on my channel. I love y'all so much and I'll be sure to mention all the things below in my description box and I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, mwah, mwah. Bye guys.